What's Gucci, everybody? It's AJ back again, and today we're going to be going over Quicksort. Quicksort is essentially an algorithm which selects a element and uses that as a pivot point and sorts everything relative to that pivot point. And then it uses recursion to select a pivot point within those sorted po points and keep on sorting that until the array is fully sorted. Without further ado, let's show an example. As you can see here, I have an array of about eight elements that is sorted right now, but quickly I'm going to rearrange them. And what I'm going to show you is how the algorithm works. So these arrows will be used for easy reference later, but for now, I'm just going to keep them over there. And here, let me... We arrange 99 and 44, and that should be pretty unarranged. Okay, so now the first thing I need to do with my algorithm is I need to look at my array. I need to select a pivot point. You most you most likely will want a pivot point that is in the middle of the array, that is a middle element of the array. Now, since that altogether is another algorithm to calculate what the middle element is, you may just want to try to take a random element. But for this instance, we are going to take a middle element, such as 36, to show how this algorithm works at its best ability. So I'm going to choose 36. And now, since 36 is the pivot point, I'm going to look at the top and bottom of the array, which these two arrows are pointing to, and I'm going to look at the bottom and see if the bottom elements are greater than the pivot point and if the top for the top elements I am going to look at if the elements are less than the pivot point and if both of these pointers arrows are pointing to an element that is less than the pivot at the top and greater than the pivot at the bottom I'm going to swap them and if not, I continue looking at the next reference. So just for example, 65 is greater than the pivot. So I need to swap 65. 44 is not less than 36. So I'm going to look at the next pivot. So I'm going to advance the arrow to over here because now I'm looking at 1. 1 is less than 36 and 65 is greater than 36. So I'm going to swap them. Now I'm going to advance both of the arrows to the next element. And I'm going to look at 72, which is greater than 36, and 20, which is less than 36. So then, again, those can be swapped, which again is a nine, which again, And you can see these three elements are already sorted. <laughs> so then again, I'm going to advance this arrow here and this arrow here, and I'm going to see that 99 is greater than 36, so I don't need to swap that. And 23 is greater than, is sorry, 23 is less than 36, so I'm not going to do anything. And that leaves both the pointers at 36, so I'm not going to do anything to any of those. So there you go. As you can see, relative to 36, everything to the right of 36 is greater than 36, and everything to the left of 36 is less than 36. So now I'm going to recursively sort the array. So now I just want to look at these elements. And what I want to do again is I want to try to pick a middle element in this array. So let's say 72, and I want to sort them according to that. So I'm going to look at, so again, I'm going to use 72 as a pivot point and compare them that way. So here I've got 72, and now I'm looking at I'm just looking at this half of the array because this half has already been sorted and my rec my I would check that this was sorted according to the algorithm but it's better to just look at this one so now I'm recursively breaking down the problem as that's what recursion does and now I am looking at so now I'm going to look at 72 and use that as the pivot point so I'm going to look at 99, which is less than 72, and on the bottom, and 44, which is, I'm sorry, 
I'm going to look at 99, which is greater than 72, but on the bottom, and 44, which is less than 72 on the bottom. So, and on the top, sorry. And I'm going to swap these, as you see here. And I've got that. And now I'm going to advance the pointers to these two. And again, I'm going to, now I'm going to see if 60, now I just want to compare if 72 is greater than or less than 65 because I'm just looking at the pivot point. I need to see where I place the pivot point. And I see that 65 is less than 72, so I'm going to swap their positions. And upon doing that, both the pointers are at 72 and that part is done. Just going to delete those. And the algorithm, as you can see, is sorted from 1, 20, 23, 36, 44, 65, 72, and 99. So as you can see, the algorithm picks a pivot point, sorts the elements only relative to that pivot point. So it doesn't sort it in exact order, but it makes sure everything is greater than is on one side and less than is on the other side. And then continues to sort it. Now I'm going to talk about the big O efficiency. It is possible for quicksort to break down to an n squared big of O because it is possible for you to start sorting the algorithm with a pivot point of 1 and then every element would be to the right of it and thus it would not be very efficient to sort it. It would be n squared. What you want is you want to have the ability to sort a middle element so you can look at both sides of the array and easily swap them. But if you do have a good algorithm to pick a middle element, the average big O is n log n. Well, that's all I got for today. I hope you guys had a great day, and I hope everything's great. I'll see you later.